Let it be known from this day forward. Until the release of Form 725. There will be fact sheets released on Fridays. That's right, Fact Sheet Friday is back, and anyone new to the Farming Simulator franchise, this is when we learn about select vehicles and implements that will be included with the release of Farming Simulator 25 on November 12th. Without further ado, Valtra is back with the S series, and I do hope we see the full line as I do get a kick out of the ANTS line, or as I like to refer to them as the Valtra Ants. The S is the largest in the Ants series of tractors, and it is believed that we saw a smaller Valtra in the Gamescom trailer. In this image, it's paired up with the Breitner TR34090-2 PT Plus trailer. Quite a mouthful there. Looking at the speeds and feeds, the Valtra will cost a cool quarter of a million dollars with $254,500 for the base config. There will be engine options ranging from 280 to 420 horsepower and a variable CVT transmission will be used to put power to the ground with a top speed of 31 miles per hour. The tractor will hold a total of 610 liters of fuel and has a curb weight of 11.9 tons. Now in previous farm sims that was just a stat, but with respect to the ground deformation in FS25, I do believe the vehicle weight will now play an important factor. The Brander will have a capacity that is configurable from 30,000 to 45,000 liters and empty will have a weight of 11.2 tons as well. This trailer is going to have a cost of $65,500. Now let's dive into the various fill type icons this trailer will hold. From FS22 we can see wheat, barley, oat, canola, a new icon for sorghum, sunflower, soybean, corn, potatoes, sugar beet, red beets, carrots, parsnips, and new to FS25, we have regular rice, long grain rice, and two question marks. I was kind of hoping we get a bit of a reveal as to what the other two new crops are, but nope, looks like we still do not know. More on something related to a possible crop here in a little bit. We'll have spinach, sugarcane, and wood chips. Moving down to the second line, we have sugar bee cut, silage, hay, grass, straw, mineral feed, silage, pig food, snow, olives, manure, seed, what I am assuming is the icon for salt here, forage, stones, lime, solid fertilizer, and chaff. Now during Gamescom, we learned from a GameStar press release about the Merlot MF44.9CS. And today we find out more about this very unique telehandler that is the first in the series of having rear hydraulic hookups. Of course, there have been mods that have allowed this in the past, but for a base game telehandler, this is a first. For the cost of $149,500, the Merlot is fairly powerful telehandler with a 170 horsepower engine coupled to a variable CVT transmission. It has a top road speed of 24 miles per hour and an unloaded weight of 9.5 tons. In our third fact sheet and the fourth bit of kit for today, we learn more about the Oxbow MKB 4TR spinach harvester. This unique vehicle is designed to carefully cut the leafy greens from the spinach plant and transport them to a large holding area in the back that has a total capacity of 35,000 liters. Just like potato or other specialty harvesters, this one is going to cost you a bit at the bank with a price tag of $635,000. This tracked monster has a 400 horsepower engine and is coupled once again to a variable CVT transmission that will move the 67.2 ton vehicle down the road with a whopping top speed of 15 miles per hour and a working speed in the field of six miles per hour. And now finally, the final two items for today's fact sheet roundup, the return of the Izeki brand with the TJW tractor and the FarmTech EDK650. What do you think of that metallic blue paint? The Izeki TJW tractor might look good with its metallic blue paint, and you're going to have a good amount of time of seeing it in that paint because it has a top speed of just 18 miles per hour. In addition, the TJW is the first we have seen with a power shift transmission for FS25. 
helping us convert the power of the 123 horsepower engine into forward momentum. The tractor won't break the bank too much compared to the Oxbow as a cost of $92,000, but be careful what you attach to it or pull behind it because it has a rather light weight of just 4.6 tons, making it less impactful once again on the ground with respect to our ground deformation. The EDK650 is probably the same trailer we saw in a previous screenshot released during the Riverbend Springs preview, but back then it had a load of stone in it. The trailer can be configured in various ways that includes a capacity between 4,000 and 8,000 liters. I'm sure we're also going to be offered with a flatbed variant to transport bales and pallets. This is a very affordable trailer with starting out price of $6,000 and also relatively light with respect to its curve weight at 1.9 tons. So it should have minimal impact once again with respect to the ground deformation. And then finally looking through the fill types we see the same list as the Brantler trailer before. I wonder what crops those two question marks might represent. Well, rumor has it that one of them might just be peas. And smart money is on flax for the second one as we need something more than cotton to produce the rope that we already know about. I hope you guys enjoy my spin on Fact Sheet Friday. I like to do more than just read you the speeds and feeds. And if you did like this video, then please let YouTube know by clicking the like button and maybe even sharing the video with friends that are interested in Farming Simulator 25. In addition, if you are not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing as well because we will have weekly fact sheet videos for the next 10 weeks leading up to the release of Farm Sim 25. If we learn about six new items each week, well that still leaves us with over 400 unknown vehicles and implements included in a base game along with three maps. At any point, if you want to pre-order Farming Simulator 25 and are on PC, I have an affiliate link in the description below that links to the Giants eShop and uses my partner code FarmerKlein. While it does not give you anything off on the sale, it does give me credit for the sale and moves me closer to my goal of becoming a gold partner. Lastly, if you are maybe looking to pick up the Collector's Edition so you can have the USB keyed ignition switch or some of the other cool things included with the Collector's Edition, then maybe take a look at my Amazon affiliate link down in the description below as well. Now that Amazon affiliate link will not only give you the ability to buy the collector's edition, it will also give you the ability to buy a physical copy of the game either on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. Until next time, happy farming.